The Queen honoured domestic violence campaigner Diana Parks with a Pride of Britain award in a surprise ceremony at Clarence House. After her daughter Joanna Simpson's devastating murder by her estranged husband, Diana co-founded the Joanna Simpson Foundation with her daughter's best friend, Hetty Barkworth Nanton, to support vulnerable children. It has helped transform the care, support and protection of hundreds of children affected by domestic abuse and murder. The Queen conspired with the Pride of Britain team and Hetty to convince Diana she was needed at the King and Queen's London residence to film a documentary. To her surprise, as Diana prepared to be interviewed, Camilla walked into the room with a golden envelope, announcing her and Hetty as winners of the Special Recognition Award, reports The Mirror. The Queen said, We had to concoct this idea of how to get you down here so we could surprise you. Nobody deserves it more than you two. You are the best double act there is, and I am sure you will remain together forevermore. The surprise will feature as part of a special documentary about the Queen's work on domestic violence, Her Majesty the Queen, Behind Closed Doors, showing on ITV1 on November 11th at 9pm. The Queen continued, I so wanted to surprise you. It was quite difficult to find the time when it worked for everybody, but today it did and I am thrilled. Fighting back tears, Diana said, Joe at least brought Hetty and I together. Thank you so much, it is just incredible. When she asked Hetty how she kept the surprise secret, the Queen jumped in, saying, she kept the secret so well. She is remarkable. I just think it is such a lovely award as well. It took a little bit of work but we managed it. All the family will be super proud of you. In 2010, Joanna Simpson, 46, was bludgeoned to death in Ascot, Berkshire, with a claw hammer by her estranged husband Robert Brown. Her young children, who were just 9 and 10, were in the house. Joe's body was found five days later buried in a pre-dug grave in Windsor Great Park. Brown was convicted of manslaughter due to diminished responsibility and jailed for 26 years in May 2011. Diana, who is bringing up her grandchildren, launched the foundation with Hetty in 2014. And, according to the charity, 130,000 children are currently in households at risk of serious injury or death, while 200 children are bereaved through homicide each year. In 2023, Diana, from the Isle of Man, and Hetty, successfully campaigned to block Brown's automatic release from prison after he completed half his sentence. Both were made CBEs in the 2024 New Year's Honours list in recognition of the tireless work. After presenting the award to Diana and Hetty, Camilla said, I think she, Diana, is so strong because not many people would be able to survive the death of a daughter, I admire her more than I can say. Diana added, I am amazed and gobsmacked. I accept this award, of course, in memory of Joe. Everything we do is in memory of Joe. I can almost hear her, she would be amazed. An emotional Hetty added, it is just amazing to get this recognition. It is really hard doing what we do, and all the time Diana has to bring up all the details of what happened to Joe, but we do it because we feel it is the right thing. 1.6 million women are experiencing domestic abuse every day, and this is for them and Joe.